Spinetics is a company dedicated to digital signage for more than 16 years now. And our mission in this industry is to make system integrators autonomous in winning opportunities in digital signature. That's our mission. And to do that, we have a, a total solution, we have the expertise, and this year we are really trying to promote ARIA, which is content management system, a software as a service, that really simplifies how our customers are able to inspire end users in using digital signage. So how has the market changed and how has Spinetics changed to meet that? Yeah, I mean, everyone knows COVID made everyone afraid mm. and pushed everyone to stay home. Mm. Now that is going away, the challenge we have as an industry and as humanity is really to bring again people together. And technology can play a game. And uh, I believe not only digital signage, all the technologies in audio video industry can play a game. From my point of view, digital signage in this context is an integration tool that communicates to people. So it's, it's the right tool to welcome back, whether it's a corporate environment, transportation, so to reassure, to welcome back people to meet. I noticed that you also have a presence on the Intel stand yes. this year at ISE. Can you tell me what that's about? Yes, so we are working with Intel for now five years because our latest product, the HMP400, has an Intel-based chip. And it's an exciting relationship because, of course, HMP400 focus on our target customer, people that really want to deploy something for many years. but customers need more sometimes or less and uh, we cannot provide them the exact product, manufacture the exact product they need. So being able to collaborate with Intel give us access to a wide range of tools from OPS, SDM modules within the screen, NUCs, some much more powerful than our product, some less. And the operating system make all this compatible to all the suite of our solution. So, what's the future of your media players? Is there a future where your media players don't exist? All right, it's a tough question to answer this. It's true that someone said that if you are serious with software, you need to do your own hard, which is true. So, of course, the temptation to keep investing in having our own hardware is there and we'll probably keep doing it. We have the skills to do it. But I think being open is also important. So probably a mix, probably something that we can find and customize slightly or making sure that the right components are there. So we'll see. It's probably still early because HP 400 has a lot of years in front of it. Sure. So. so what are the um, advantages or pitfalls of your DSOS being on like a s slot for a screen versus system on a chip, like what, it, can you sort of unpick that for me? Yeah, well, our DSOS, our Digital Signage Operating System, is based on Linux and it's really dedicated to our industry. The big advantage is that Spinetics invest time to support it, to make it evolve. So that is one of the reasons why our products are so long in life, because we keep supporting, we keep them alive. Yes. Uh, the problem of SOC, which are definitely beautiful technology, from our point of view, is the lack of support. So the product line has a limited life, shorter than what our customer asks us to support, and that makes us incompatible with them. Yeah, I understand. So, how would you describe um, where, say, an integrator, uh, where they see value uh, in partnering with Spinetics? Like, what are they subscribing to or buying? Like, what's the special source of Spinetics now? Well, as, as I told before, Spinetics 
mission is to make them autonomous. But you are right. Digital signage offer a huge opportunity in the model of software as a service. And in software as a service, we become partner with the end customer. We are not a supplier, we are a partner. So his journey as a customer, we share it with him. And that's a huge opportunity for the industry, really to partner with our customers for creativity, for supporting, for putting all the technology together. Has the chip shortage impacted you guys? Everyone. Yeah. I mean, we are lucky we have been able to anticipate it. Uh, we have good suppliers, good partners in that sense. So we have stock, so we can ship today, we have stock. But definitely, the industry is very tense. So the future is not like uh, um, assuring us. We will see how it goes. Uh, we are a small fish, but we try to swim quick and uh, being agile. Uh, and I think that's the only options we have today. That's great. Um, I'll leave it there, Francesco. Hopefully we'll see you in Australia soon. But, um... I would love. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was very kind and beautiful to meet you in person. Cool.